Hi, my rather obscure fandom is the works of the English author Roald Dahl, his uh, stories and his poems. This is one of his poems, The Anteater. I hope you enjoy it. Some wealthy folk from the USA who lived in San Francisco Bay possessed an only child called Roy, a plump and unattractive boy, half-baked, half-witted and half-boiled, but worst of all, most dreadfully spoilt. Whatever Roy desired each day, his father would get him right away. And there was Roy Whale wondering, what on earth is there I haven't got? I think the next thing that I should get should be a most peculiar pet, uh, the kind that no one else has got. A giant anteater, why not? As soon as his father heard the news, he quickly wrote to all zoos. Sirs, he said, my dear keepers, do any of you have anteaters? They answer by return of mail, our anteaters are not for sale. At last they found an Indian gent who lived in Delhi in a tent who said he would sacrifice his pet for an enormous price. The anteater arrived half dead. He looked at Roy and softly said, I'm famished. Could you spare a bit of food? I haven't had anything to eat in all the time I was at sea, but nobody would look after me. Well, no. No bread or meat. Go buy some ants. They're what you eat. The starving creature crawled away. It searched the garden night and day. It hunted every inch of ground. No one ant was to be found. Uh, by chance, upon that very day, Roy's father's sister came to stay. And Roy said to her, I don't believe you met my new and most unusual pet. He pointed to the stones where something lay all skin and bones. Ant eater! Roy yelled, don't lie there yawning. This is my ant. Come sick of morning. Now, some people in the USA have trouble with the words they say. However hard they try, they can't pronounce a simple word like aunt. I said aunt, it's ant. I said can't, it's can't. The anteater slowly raised its head. Do you mean to say that's an ant? Of course it's an ant. And Dorothy, this ant is over 83. The anteater smiled and licked its starving lips and mumbled, my gosh, when? At last I'll have a decent dinner, no matter if it's 83 if that's an ant, then it's for me. Taking very careful aim, it pounced upon the startled dame, it gripped her firmly by the hair and ate her up right then and there. Meanwhile our hero Roy had sped in terror to the potting shed while trying to make himself obscure behind a pile of horse manure. Slowly the anteater came creeping in, already it was much less thin. It said to Roy, you little squirt. I think I'll have you for dessert.